everyone, Farm Sim Guy here. How are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Now, usual checks. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Because I'm so paranoid that I don't set this up right now that I have to check every single time. I hope one, you can hear me, and two, yes. <laughs> I should be uh, less surprised, shouldn't I? Been doing this for long enough now. I should probably get it right. But uh, there we go. We are here. How are you all doing? Back from FarmCon, still feeling a little bit sleepy, probably because I've been spending most of the time since I've been back editing uh, um, vlogs, which I hope you're enjoying. If you haven't seen them yet, go have a look. Yes, and I've got a snazzy new cap. <laughs> this is a purchase from the John Deere store in, uh, in Mannheim, so it's legit official. I also have this, which is very cool. Um... A little wicking metal, loads of detail in it. It's very cool. I just had to buy something to uh, sit on the uh, sit on the desk. I'm getting a nice little collection of stuff here. So, um, FarmCon was incredible, incredible. I can't begin to tell you how utterly brilliant it was. Um, if any of you ever do get the chance, I know it's difficult for you guys in the states if it's in Europe and vice versa, but if you ever get the chance to go, um, I mean, the ticket costs 10 bucks, it's not much, but you have to go. It's so nice to meet these people in, in person. The at, Just the vibe and the atmosphere is so warm and friendly. It's like just a load of people who are not dissimilar to this. You know, it's a load of people who just get on well because they love the game. So, um, so yes. Absolutely brilliant. So I've got another vlog coming tomorrow for the final day, but a little bit shorter. Today's was the main one, but uh, just I'll bang on about it all night. Probably you'll be bored of it by the time I finish. But I didn't forget about you guys while I was out there. So we're going to do a couple of giveaways tonight. And um, I have got a couple which I bought with my own money. But they weren't freebies from Giants. I paid paid good money for these, so I was supporting Giants too. Limited edition FarmCon t-shirts. You could only get these from FarmCon. They are available in very short uh, runs. That's the back of it. That's what it looks like if you... Uh, uh, that's the back shoulders. So I bought two XLs because I decided um, that was a good bet. So people can wear them baggy. Or they can wear them slightly snugger. I fit an XL, and uh, DJ and Farmer Cobb will probably vouch that, yeah, I'm quite a big unit. <laughs> so we're going to give we're going to give them both away tonight, uh, and I'll get them mailed out wherever wherever you are in the world, and um, and get things uh, get them out to you. So whoever wins those, we'll do a little draw. We'll do a draw in an hour, and we'll do one at the end of the stream as well. So um, I'm just just checking the chat here um yeah the side panel as well i'm going to talk about it tonight i've got a little video coming but um met the loveliest guy from ls i hope i'm going to butcher this satan console um who makes these really nice side consoles uh, handmade he makes them out of wood um the quality is really really robust so uh, i've got a proper review of the little one coming but i'm already in chats with him to uh uh supply one of the bigger ones um and because he's a small business i'm gonna obviously pay for it i'm not gonna i'm not looking for freebies here um so uh, i'm gonna make sure that uh, he's compensated for it but if we can get one of the big ones looks really cool it looks really cool um what else what else what else what else is worth telling you about now we'll just chew the fat as the uh, um as the stream goes on but let's a little bit of a recap of what we've done here for those of you who maybe haven't seen all the episodes evening Aussie how are you doing um I saw Dash in there so how you doing mate nice to see you um we have leased this um this is very nice this this mobility 1000 uh spreader um if you want it uh you can do exclamation mods it's from OS uh, farms and mapping um uh, but you can also get pick it up from Dinner's Farms website as well. So um, uh, those big ones are like a full armrest. They're very nice, aren't they, Christoph? Uh, they are very nice. Um, so yes, uh, should be good. Farmer Jay, nice to see you. How's things? 
What was the feeling of having to sign your first autograph? Surreal, but also very, very cool. Like all three of us, Pharmacop, DJ, and I, there was a there was a, a point in the afternoon um, where it, we were all signing caps or t-shirts or bags or whatever whatever uh, they bought over, and loads and like you know, I would say ninety nine percent of the people there were German, um, but young German kids with brilliant impeccable english so polite it was yeah it was weird but but really cool um take that one off the things to achieve before uh, you die is yes um i'm just trying to see if that mods link is going to kick in hang on a second i know what i've done i've left it in admin mode still so let me just tweak that for you so you can get the link that would be helpful wouldn't it um but yeah, just, just so cool to uh, actually meet people. And you know what the weird thing is? People know who you are. So when you're walking about, like people just look at you and point, and it's kind of weird. So, um, but in in a in a very kind of nice way. It's not weird. It's kind of creepy. It's not creepy. It's uh, it's kind of nice. Garrett, nice to see you. Uh, yes, of course. Hit the like button, guys, if you can, and that helps the stream, helps the channel. Um, also, I uh, I talked about the links. Uh, if you're buying any of the stuff that you saw at FarmCon, uh, which all looks very, very good, um, we uh, uh, if you want to support the channel, obviously use uh, Farm Some Guy, and if you don't want to support me, use another content creators important to support your favorite content creator dash morning my girls are first next slide they're dying for season two well i am obviously um i think i've talked about it a couple of times i'm away on holiday next week for a couple of weeks um what with farmcon and everything i haven't had the chance to line up any content um while i'm away so it's going to be very quiet on the channel for the next two weeks but i've got one thing going out while i'm away which um uh, yes, might might answer that question for you. I'm saying no more than that. Rumor has it Statham's friends are mocking him for looking like the famous Big Shot FSG. We laughed about that while we were uh, while we were there. Actually, in terms of, um, I'm waiting for the day that somebody comes up to Jason Statham and asks him for my autograph. Um, but yeah, I don't think that's ever going to happen. So, there we go. There's the Argster. How are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Yes. Like I said, if you don't want to use my code, you're always welcome to use Argsies. Um, but thanks to you lot, I have uh, I have hit Silver Partner, uh, which is which is very exciting. And I think um, while I was out there, certain Mister uh, Mister Lars told me that I am the third biggest YouTuber for Farm Sim in the UK now, behind um, two guys you may have heard of them Dagwin and um, Mr. Sealy P so that's alright I'm okay with that right, I am going to take off the ju am I going to take off? No I'm not you know what, we're going to go down to the line point and we're going to fill this up I actually haven't checked to see if it'll take lime, but if it does, in fact, we'll check that now. I'm sure it would. I'm sure it must. It does. That would have been an absolute disaster. So we did finally. We did get to uh, see the John Deere Museum, which was which was a nice um, result actually, because I didn't think I was going to see that. We didn't get to see inside the factory. Uh, but uh, really nice to uh, John Deere. The guys at John Deere were amazing. Couldn't do enough for us. Uh, as were the as were the Giants guys. Um, we were super super well looked after. Farmer Ed, thank you very much, mate. That is very kind of you. Celebratory drink for being number three in the UK and a silver partner. Yeah, it's nuts. Apparently, I got it too late. DJ went up on stage to get his gold award, but uh, 
I was too late. I didn't answer Lars's email in time, so... That was my punishment. Not getting to go up on stage at farm. I, I can live with that, to be honest. You did see an EV-powered John Deere chassis. Yes, Dash, well noticed. They had a hybrid as well, so they had one that uh, generated electricity to run things like the hydraulics and things like that, and then they had a full engine. The, the, full, en the full engine one can only run for a couple of hours, though. Um, they said they have to put, at the moment, they have to put um, 15, ton 15 additional tons of weight in batteries into a tractor to make it run uh, for a full day. So, uh, um, that uh, is uh, not going to happen for a while. I think they're looking at back battery technology to improve that. Sorry, I'm reading chat here, trying to catch up. Hey, uh, how long will the stream be? Uh, usual, usual around about two hours, mate. It was a brilliant weekend. We... We should just all commit to going <laughs> next year. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not we lose our jobs or... I don't know. We should just do it for a laugh. No, no, I'm supposed to be sensible and... But it would be good. Um, I was also speaking to Kermit and... Uh, and Farmer Cop and DJ actually about... Um, how we could make a US trip work. How I could get over there and see a load of you guys and uh, and uh, anything else. So we'll uh, we'll keep thinking about how we can make that happen. Uh, my um, my sensor on my steering wheel's gone out, so I apologise. Any curry vest? Of course, ghost. Of course. Um, Lars and uh, Lars and Chucky made an absolute point of dragging DJ to every single type of German food they could find. And the one thing they hadn't managed to do was currywurst. So uh, that's what we did on the last day. There we go. Let's just get in. Sorry. Checking chat again. We've got to... Uh, Truck of USA, behave, mate, or we will uh, we will let you go. Right, in we go here now. There is a line point in here somewhere. I don't remember where. I don't need to fill up with uh... lime. Purchase. There we go. Let's see how much lime we can get through. Um, this is the test we're going to do in those top two fields, actually. 9,000 litres is quite big. Do they think they will do a UK farm comp? No, I don't think so in the foreseeable future. I do know already where next year's is. I'm going to not... Uh, it's not my place to tell you just yet. Um, but we did... Uh, we did all push them as well for a... Consider to do one in the US in future years as well, which would be quite nice. Applefoot, it was a blast is... is yeah. And Arcs is definitely going next year. Malik, nice to see you. How are you doing? So yeah, I've told Arcs already. He can't. There is no option. He has to come. When are we going to see a Farmer Cop DJ FSG stream? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Is there any country game with farming and shooting? I don't think so. You've got Call of the Wild or Farm Simulator. Maybe you could play an hour of each and switch. I'm just going to get organised. I can't see. I'm, uh... There we go. Mrs. Hugsy has been warned. Good. Nice to hear it, Hugs. Nice to hear it. Uh, I am already considering going over to the uh, uh, Farm Sim League final uh, at the end of the year. That could be quite good fun. Been bitten by the bug. Warned or begged. <laughs> 
so we've barely talked about what we're doing tonight we're uh, but what what the plan is the two fields that I uh, ploughed in the other episode and remember I weeded them before I ploughed them um, and somebody said uh, you don't need to do that because the weeds disappear when you plough them anyway now I thought I believe and I'm not still not 100% uh, is that you got an extra boost and it looks like after we've sowed the first field anyway that um, it looks like we've already got uh, um, no weeds it's showing no weeds so this is FSG coming in clutch with the with the orange juice oh nice to hear it Brock glad you are James Kerr nice to see you mate how are you awesome have your free flights by then my team Mike Byros, how are you doing? What have you missed? A me banging on about FarmCon. People are going to be sick of the sight of, or the sound of me talking about FarmCon. I've got one more vlog to do, and then I promise I'll stop yabbering on about it, and uh, we'll go back to some. Uh, we'll go back to some gaming. Plowing doesn't get rid of weeds completely. Yeah, I thought that, Mark. Somebody said um, you get uh, you get rid of the weeds, but um, I also read somewhere that if you plow, you can get rid of the weeds. Or you get a 15% yield bonus, but if you plow and weed, it gets you 20%. So I was unsure. Uh, I've turned. This is not <laughs> too busy. But I've turned down the wrong thing. Right. There we go. William Adams, how are you? You can live vicariously through me. You can indeed, Saran. Until we all go. We're going to set up FSG Con. And Argus is going to play for us all together. Well, you are welcome to ask as many questions as you like. Um, somebody asked in the last stream, actually, when I was next going to do a Q&A. I'm not sure if that's something anybody's interested in, but... Uh, yes, we may be, it may be a few weeks till we're back on No Man's Land. Uh, and it's all my fault. It's been, uh, obviously, FarmCon this weekend. And then I'm off on holiday for a couple of weeks, so... Um, how much is FSG Starcraft going for these days? It's pretty rare. There's hardly any of them out in the world, so... Um, if you haven't seen the screenshot or, or the image that uh, Yoss uh, posted on the Discord today, you should go and see it. He's uh, managed to Photoshop uh, the FSG logo on a Statham cat. I got constant abuse. For looking like Jason Statham. So, what, what can you do? What can you do? I've decided there's worse peoples that could look like, so there we go. So, right. I digress again. So, in here, we have planted this already. We've got wheat in here. Uh, because we're going to sell this for beer later on. Uh, we put the fertilizer down before, oh well, when we were seeding. But we haven't put any lime down now, so we're going to put lime down now in this pla in this planted field. Now over here, we haven't seeded this. So I'm going to do a little bit of a test and see if um, putting lime on before you plow or before you seed has any difference versus putting lime on after you seed. My uh, my money's on no, it's not going to. But uh, at the same time. It's going to be interesting to find out. Imagine if it was Mr. Bean and said, exactly. Exactly. So I do not know what the spread on this is. Ooh, I need to unfold it. Well, that's quite nice. Look at that. A little handle at the back. That's unfolded. What's our... The width going like on this... That's not a bad size. Are we going to burn through this quickly? If we get the whole field done, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't think we're going to, though. David, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. 
Faber! Now, there's another one of the crew that I finally got to meet in person. Uh, it was great. Uh, Faber hung out with us uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday morning. Hope you had a good time, Faber. You even came for dinner with us on Saturday night, didn't you, mate? We had quite a nice burger joint down the road from us, which we... Uh, which we took full advantage of. If you do the exclamation mark mods thing now, it should it should give you the link. Um, I had it on uh, admin only, but now it should be should be available to everyone. So, and it holds nine thousand liters, so it means you can get quite a lot done through the field. There we go. Nice. If you actually got a burger. This is true. I ordered my burger and it came uh, with the bun but no patty in it, which was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. So Farmer Cop's still um, touring Europe. He's taking a couple of weeks. He's uh, heading over to Spain at the moment. Uh, looking forward to a few weeks there. And... Um, Mr. Bauer Gaming, who is a, a, another YouTuber we met over there, who's just started out. He's got a lovely crew behind him. Uh, he lives in Barcelona, even though he's German. He uh, He's living in Barcelona, and uh, he's going to go and meet Farmer Cop and give him a tour around. That kind of just shows you how good this community is, to be honest. Just that kind of uh, decency is uh, is really nice to see. Good evening, Trevor. How are you doing? Uh, we, do you know we're going to have that classic where uh, I'm going to run out just before the end of the field, aren't I? There we go. So, one of the, one of the things that uh, you've obviously seen in the vlog there is that um, John Deere rig where you sit in the seat in the auditorium and you... Uh, drive the tractor and the tractor behind you all the functions of it move uh, that was very very cool they use that for training um, new people when they come into um, into John Deere uh, but equally they told us that they use farming simulator um, their, uh, their new recruits come in and they can be trained for up to three and a half years and uh, one of the things they teach them is all about farming uh, and one of the one of the thing one of the tools they use to educate them is um, is farming simulator. So between that and the guys at Setten uh, Setten Consolen, I think I might have, they might be the guys that can wire up the uh, the kit for me. We never know. It is, isn't it, Mike? It really is. It's uh, they're just like you know. It's it's for basic. If they've never been, if they're an engineer but have never been on a farm in their life, it's a brilliant way of showing them how uh, things work. There you go. A little because I've uh, not done very good overlapping here. I'm going to have patches in the field that aren't uh, aren't limed. I don't even if I hit them this way. I don't think it's going to let me. We'll just have to accept defeat on that one. But I haven't done this since 19. Look at that. How good does that look covered in lime? And we've got perfect pH and perfect nitrogen now. So our yield has gone from 100 and what was it? 110% to 122%. So interestingly, the yield potential is 125. So we're missing what's that? What do we think that is? Two and a half percent. Which will be the rolling, won't it? And look. Oh no, so no weeds there. For some reason it's saying there's weeds here and growing. But over here... Oh, I think the weeds have come back. So there you go. So you can't weed. We cleared the weeds before we ploughed. But then they're gone here. So there's patches where they're... Oh, yeah. 
I'm going to say that that was a that was a failed attempt. So we will get a roller in here at some point as well. We'll do that tonight probably. Um, Pablo extract. But first and foremost, we'll go and get some more lime. We'll top the lime up. Does that feel bigger than that one? I think it. They're uh, much of a muchness actually. We might be able to get away with liming the second field before we sow it. So we'll lime that and then we'll get it sewed and then we'll get them both rolled. At the same time we will um, try and go and sell some whiskey because it's a good way of funding things. Now uh, I think it was Mark Haythorn wait, suggested that I switch it to uh, uh, selling not selling um, distributing so I don't have to move all of those uh, rolled oats down to the uh, distillery. We might do that. Dyslexic Knight, how are you doing? Good to have you here, mate. I'm not catching... I'm not at... Uh, I'm not reading chat. Everything you learn about farming, you learn through farm sim. Is that right, Scott? Um... I actually touched on that. I don't know if you saw that on the on the creators forum, but um, I talked about that. How what a brilliant job the game! Not only is it a fun game, but it's super educational uh, in terms of teaching people who have no background in farming loads and loads of interesting stuff about farming. So. Well, Spyros, good for you, man. Good for you. It is quite a tricky thing to do. You have to put off quite a few hours into it. Hey, Dr. Rick is in the house. So Dr. Rick, guys, is the guy that had the uh, uh, the T-shirt with a fent on the front and best community ever. And on the back of it, he had hashtags and all the, uh, all the content creators, all the, you know, a big long list of content creators. Um, he's in he's in today's he's in today's vlog, and I think I put a pick up on uh, uh, Instagram or. No, I put it on the community page, didn't I? Uh, lovely, lovely guy. Seven hours you drove, didn't you? Down to come see us? So, uh, yeah, it was, it was... They are the kind of people that we just met throughout the weekend. It was fab. Am I making you jealous yet, Args? Come on. Oh, he's off to the office. What do you think of the new map? I am actually really impressed with... Ignoring the fact that they're logging map for a second, because I know people have different uh, views on logging, which is fine. Ooh, what did I hit there? Um, as a map, I think it's really nice. Loads of new textures in it. The little streams, and they've they've done some nice little... Uh, atmospheric things like the when it rains the puddles appear and the raindrops appear in the puddles and uh, but it feels I mean it's it's farmer cops part of the world up there Washington State so uh, he was like yeah, it really feels like where I come from maybe he's a, he said he's a little bit more in the flatlands uh, but he's like you, it it's not out with the realms of looking like a a proper US map, whereas I think uh, Elm Creek almost did it, but didn't maybe quite. Um, 30 to 40,000 trees in a two. That's right, uh, Yoss. They have, um, there is actually, they've discovered, I'm not sure if anybody picked this up from the chat, that they've discovered a way, uh, a, a more efficient way, but Ola Holdor's going to be beside himself. Uh, a more efficient way of putting trees in that is a lot less taxing on uh, uh, on processors for uh, displaying in game. So, redraw and things like that, and view distance and things like that will be uh, will be a lot better. So, um, so I'm sure we'll be able to unpick it from uh, from the map when it arrives. They've said, you know, they think it will be available for everybody else to. Uh, to use in other maps, which is great to hear. 
Remember as a young boy playing with my Britons and secret track thanks. Yeah, I I Brit I had tons of Britons tractors. Uh, although that said, did you see some of the John Deere toys that they were just lying like the whole of that forum building, they were like beautiful John Deere. I had to stop honestly had to stop myself spending about two hundred and fifty euros on a this beautiful nine RX. It was about that big. And the detail like full metal uh, like rubber po rubber hoses, uh, rubber like really nice rubber tracks. Like it wasn't a toy in any way, shape, or form. It was a an incredibly detailed model, and uh, like literally all my willpower to not uh, uh, come home with that. Um, so, the guys at Giants created the water flow map. Yeah. So actually, uh, I also know that they spoke to Ola. Um, to get some tips, I believe, and ask him how he'd done his because it looks so good. So, um, there you go, a little example of uh, modders helping giants. <laughs> Faber, you know, mate, right? That John Deere, the John Deere shop. Oh my goodness! Could have literally remortgaged my house in there. It was, uh... yeah. I'll say no more. So, if you're ever in Mannheim. Go and visit the John Deere shop. Bring that home for a gift for Miss. Yeah, she'd be delighted at that, Aussie. And she'd be like, uh, I don't really know what to do with this. Just like, look at it! It's amazing! I forget how long this road is. Dries! How are you, buddy? Nice to see you. How's things down there in South Africa? Mr. Maslin as well. How you doing, mate? How are you? I've done this thing again, am I? This is not my turn. I have. What's going on? Pay attention, man. Maybe have my map up. That would help, wouldn't it? Too busy reading the chat and chatting. Audio is lagging a bit. How's everybody else doing? Got no alerts up. See you later, eight. How did Mrs. FSG feel about me seeing you on the content? She watched it live. Uh, I'll have to ask her, actually. Let me ask. I'm going to text her. If she'll come in. See, I was uh, I was I was FaceTiming her actually when I was there, just having a chat with her as we were leaving. So she's she's virtually met Farmer Cop and Lars. But signpost, oh, just pay attention. <laughs> that, that that would be. Uh, uh, that would be sensible, wouldn't it? Right, hang on. She'll be watching trash on the TV in the other room. David Tully, how are you? Uh, the other, the, the other, um, the, the other people we met, um, he's probably lurking in here somewhere because he says he watches the streams. Uh, is uh, one of Scroft's moderators, nice guy from Ireland. Um, I'll remind it. Uh, chatter asking, what did it feel like seeing me on the content panel uh, at FarmCon? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. And if you can hear that, guys, she said slightly embarrassing. So, there you go. Proud, she says proud. But we'll take her first answer, right? <laughs> right, let's get this limed, and then we can get on with... Um I'm here on with a bit of planting in this field and a bit of rolling then. I'm going to try and avoid, so I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to try and avoid leaving any lines this time. She laughed though, so... Uh... She sat, sat and watched both my vlogs unprompted, so uh... there you go. She used to watch a lot more than she does now. She, uh, she's just like, oh, he's doing his thing again. Exactly, Mark. 
I'm an embarrassment, but I'm her embarrassment. <laughs> no different to me having to listen to her sing in the shower, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Would I like to play a Greek map? I, I would love to see one. As far as whether or not I'd play it, I don't know. It depends how good it is. Depends how good it is, right? Is that Derek's truck and it's uh might be a little bit of a teaser for FS22. Do any more people know that you stream FS now after the ups and downs? <laughs> yes. I, uh, I've i never been so apprehensive or nervous getting on a flight or waiting for a flight than sitting in Edinburgh Airport. I was just utterly convinced that they were going to turn around with 10 minutes before boarding and go, okay, uh, flight's cancelled, sorry. Um, does you will have a little bit of play when turning. Mine does, Patrick, because I haven't set my uh, my dead zones of reset and I haven't um, I forgot to reset them before I start the stream, so I've got 14% of play either way in my wheel at the moment which is a little bit annoying but you can change that in the main menu before you load up a game, you can go in and change uh, change that dead zone if you want to I usually run mine around about 3% I told my wife she needed to embrace her mistakes and she reached out and hugged me. <laughs> yes. Relatable. Dries, we don't have public servers. Um, I found in the past that you just tend to get um, too many uh, people who don't kind of respect the other players and stuff like that. So what we have, we have everything tucked behind a... Uh, uh, we have members-only service. And one of the benefits of that is... Everybody's a little bit more respectful, everybody um, gets on, plays well, and all of that, so... Uh, 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 yeah, if you want to, well, we've got three servers at the... Well, we've got two that are running really pretty strongly, that's... Uh, we go missing the edges again now. That's Western Oz and Spring Creek, um, but I might have a little bit of news. Um, coming soon, actually, which I'm... Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about it now, but uh, I said one of the benefits of going over to FarmCon and actually meeting people live and having proper chats with them is that there might be uh, might be a few additional supporters of the channel coming. So uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll see how things pan out, but uh, yes, it could be uh, could be beneficial to all of us. There we go. Typically, we're a little bit short, but I'm going to top it up and finish that bit off. In fact, am I? Probably not even going to let me. I'm going to write that off. Did the call happen? Uh, there have been conversations, Yoss. Yoss knows what's happening because he was pretty much standing next to me when I was speaking to the guys from Nitrado. Uh, let me just check this. So, pH is good. We haven't... Uh, so this is interesting. Pulled the weeds out of this field. And we haven't got weeds. Interesting, interesting. Your OCD is on over. I know, you, me both, mister. And uh, if Tim's still in here as well, he'd be panicking as well. Mayonnaise yellow, that is shocking. Honestly, Dries, it's uh, it's really good, and the guys that look after and manage the servers and play on the servers, uh, they're machines. Uh, yes, Saran, I have. I will absolutely do one. I think it's a case of waiting for the perfect map. Um, there's a few people saying that, uh, oh, well, we know Bulls Gap's coming back for 22, but I don't think I would do it on the same map, much as I would love to. 
Uh, I'd like to uh, maybe find a new map to do it on. But uh, uh, Western Wilds and No Man's Land, I think a lot of people do them on those, so I, I, I would like to find something a little bit different. I just haven't managed yet to uh, pinpoint what exactly that might be. So, uh, yeah. But 100% I would love to. It was one of my favourite series in uh, in 19 was doing was doing Bulls Gap it just became such a such a fun series to do um, so yes we'll uh, we'll definitely do that at some point Dyslexia Knight have a question shoot mate oh uh, do you think so pop pop that's probably a good point actually um should have also on um And pH. Well, they're better. They're better covered than in some of them. Yeah, um, that'll do. What about survival Westby? I don't. I have to say Westby. I think a four X maps a bit a uh, bit of a challenge with the survival as well. Um, I'd maybe maybe stick to a standard size map. Hey, Yoss. <laughs> You know when I said that everybody was respectful and uh, now Yoss is there, it's all going to go pear-shaped. On Green Valley, did you or any others have... Uh, now, I know there was a problem earlier on, Dyslexic. There is a, There was an, an update to the map that should have fixed that, so... Oh, I haven't even filled this up. Look at me. Rushing back to the field and I haven't filled it up. Right, let's get this topped up. Yep. Does it after the update, David? I haven't had a chance to have a look at it since the update, so... Ian's Outdoor Recovery! How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. This is the end of your channel. <laughs> Yoss went to TwitchCon as well and basically just sat badgering DJ over his shoulder the whole time, which I thought was quite good. Right, we're putting wheat in here as well, because again, we are going to um, basically sell all of this wheat to the brewery and we're going to make loads and loads of beer. One of the aims of this series is to make sure that we uh, uh, utilise the production chains a bit to try and make us a bit more money. And so far, well, you've seen what's happened with the whiskey. It's basically funding um, all our equipment at the moment, which is great. I'm, I'm literally going to do one headland on this, and then I'm going to do the up and downs. Like Dyslexic said... Look at the uh, GPS on. I don't have GPS on this tractor! Oh well. I guess I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it old school. I'm gonna drive by eye. Farmer J, has anybody had any issues on Elk Mountain with tech? Nothing. Nothing for me, mate. Brian Millard, he was watching some of Argsy's vids this morning. And not bad, I thought. Yeah, he's obviously he does some cracking stuff. Should definitely give him a follow. I always think if 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 you if you like my style of play, Args and I are, are pretty similar. And that's why we ended up um, doing stuff together, working together. Survival seemed to be heavy on productions. Without productions, at least limited. I, I kind of the productions make it very easy. I'm proving on this that they are so ludicrously uh, uh, money spinning that it's um, very easy. I think it's like the chipper on No Man's Land in FS19. If you did a survival on that, you just threw a few trees in there and you had a few grand to play with already, and it was Need a live stream with you both against it. Well, Matthew, we were going to do... There's a harvest due on um, on No Man's Land. But uh, 
typically I'm uh, I'm the annoying one who's going away for a couple of weeks I'm slightly annoyed that I've ordered uh, that I don't have uh, GPS but equally I haven't had the money to buy GPS so and these fields aren't too big but it just means I've got to concentrate on driving right? rather than I haven't used production since the first map I played in 20 they are handy they are handy but uh, should like into harder than that we talked about that actually when we were over there about making making a super hardcore farm sim uh, mode to start from scratch is supposed to be difficult um, but I think with the prices and stuff anybody tried the real prices mod yeah the one that takes the the price feed stuff from real real prices I think that could be quite good fun somebody said as well which I thought was a really good point um things that you could change in FS that made it harder milk, milk's a really good example like you don't hold on to your milk for 7 months to wait for the best price right, you've got about 72 hours, maybe a bit longer to get rid of it uh, or it goes off so wouldn't it be nice if you could do stuff where you just you, you can't just always wait for the best price just deal with it you've got to sell your milk when you've got to sell your milk right and things like that That sounds like your shader cache, Farmer Jade. Try deleting that and uh, uh, opening it again. But uh, maybe some of the more moddy, moddy type folk might be able to give you a bit of a steer as well. Yep. Right. Tried that already. Uh, seems odd that one then. Have you updated the Have you updated the uh, the map and uh, loaded it? If you've updated the map, it needs a new game save, right? There we go. Could keep just going round. I'm alright, I'll do one more. And then I'll start going up and down. Gives me a bit of time to turn then. Now I don't have a roller. I'm gonna have to think about what I get from a roller perspective. I'm not even sure if I've got any modded ones installed, so we might be limited as to what we can do. Maybe a mod? Farmer J, have you tried turning all your mods off except for the map and loading up and see what happens? Could be a, a mod causing some sort of grief in there. <clears throat> well, that's a nice idea, Scott. I like that. FS17 had the milk tank at the same time every day. That's right, yeah. Whether you liked it or not, it rocked up and took your milk away. Actually, while I'm here, let's um, do what we said we would do. Rolled barley. Why is it saying it's storing? Loads of rolled barley. So the income, oh, maybe, it's, maybe I've set it already. Oh, it's set to storing. That's interesting. That's unless we'll just nip over there and check that actually. Because there's definitely more than seven hundred and four liters here. I probably need to do it before I uh, 
moved it to there, didn't I? Wonder why that's not showing up properly. Anyway, we'll uh Barley mill. Rolled barley. Outgoing products. Let's do it to distributing. See what happens. Probably nothing now. I'm guessing it send it straight over there before it uh before it appeared here. Will it sell it though, Ed? Will it um if I've changed it to distributing, will it take it over to the for the point now or am I too late? Right. You'd like to see nice introduce rice introduced to FS so uh South Louisiana map's got rice on it already. Uh Musketeer. If you want to have a little go with that. I'm not sure if there's much equipment to help you uh, uh harvest it. Once it's spawned, it won't auto sell, like I thought. Oh well, we are stuck with it then. Well, but that's okay. We wouldn't take us too long to shift that, would it? Tab through every single vehicle to find my tractor in it. Hey, Shane mapping. Ah, uh, dear. So do your maps, mate. <laughs> Ah, oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, straight lines now. Right, we'll so we'll leave it on distributed for the future. Just use standard planters and combines. Yeah, nice. Nice. Rice would be nice, nice. Now this is showing on the map as having large rocks in it, but they don't... Maybe they are large rocks. Maybe we have to move these with the... Uh, probably not doing my uh, cedar any favours by uh, running over these large rocks, but... I'm going to roll them all under anyway. Not worry about it. Never play with it. I don't usually pop pop, but uh, I thought I'd give myself a little bit of a challenge with this one. When do you get to win a t shirt? Um, in about seven minutes, Args. So, uh, yeah, I'll do one at, I'll do one at ten o'clock. Or. On the hour, shall we say. Hey, Mr. Go! <laughs> How you doing? I see you, bud. This guy, I tell you... Um, he is such a genuinely decent bloke. He is um, exactly the same in real life as he is on stream and on... Uh, on vid. I've never seen somebody with so much energy. He was running on empty for about a week, but you wouldn't have known it. Um. Bro, you're so jealous of my vlog. You also, I've just watched yours literally the 10 minutes before I came on. You're behind the scenes on Thursday, so uh, you got to do stuff that I didn't, so uh, let's call it even, mate, shall we? Are you caught up on sleep, DJ? 11 hours total. <laughs> they were long days, weren't they? They were long days. Uh, DJ Args, he's already confirmed he will be there next year. He's not going to miss it. So, uh... We've got another... We've got another... Member of the, uh... Of the crew. Good man! Ten hours, jeez. 
Demon rules! How's it going, buddy? Yeah, man, remember you guys? You've uh, you've actually made a little bit of a, a cameo in my first vlog, my Friday vlog. If you watch the very end of it, you guys are mooching around the tractors at the back. Sleep is overrated. Yeah, sleep when you're dead. Bet you're glad to be back in sunny old Scotland. Do you know what, actually? Sunny old Scotland has actually been quite sunny and nice this week. But yeah, as a general rule, it's anything but that. So Demon Rules was, uh, he was there with a couple of his mates. Uh, they'd driven down, and actually when I was doing my uh, little piece to camera I, with my vlog on Friday, those guys were looking around the uh, looking around the tracks at the same time. But again, just another another group of stand-up guys that were just, you know, chatted to, we chatted away to so many really, really lovely people it kind of just, not just kind of made you feel good about the farm sim community, but I just kind of just give you a boost in total, so Farmer G, you live in Pennycook? Jeez, you are officially my closest uh, uh, viewer, I think. Hey, DJ. Um, who was asking that? I saw that, um, and we've got we've got roped into chatting about stuff um, to do with farm sim. Was it uh, Farmer Tech? Does anybody know a video how to set up the steering wheel buttons? I've not had any luck figuring it out. Right. Don't need a video, Pharma Tech. I can do this in about 10 seconds for you. German food doesn't make my stomach upset. US, you're going to have to move, DJ. You're going to have to move into the Air Langen office. Um, Pharma Tech 51. So you go to your keyboard control or your controls here. Uh, this on your menu. And you've got two options. You've got keyboard controls here. And you've got gamepad controls here. So what you want to do is scroll down. And whatever you want to change, whatever button you want to... Uh, link to something you uh come down here and you uh, you set it so for example honk here you you click on it and it comes up with this warning and then you press whatever button you want on your steering wheel and it puts it into that place so an x on my uh, steering wheel now is uh attributed to honk um so you can do it that way simple and you just go through them Son of Rag, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Yay, hey, Faber's in. Oh, DJ, I think it's it's a given I'll be there next year. I was saying we know we already know where it is, but I don't think we're allowed to we're not allowed to, to, to say yet, are we? So Um We'll we'll uh, we'll let you know as soon as we we can. I'll maybe check with the guys this week and see if I'm allowed to mention it. Put the farmer cop badge on your metal battle jacket. <laughs> we don't know where it is. <clears throat> no, we don't know where it is. I would say it's somewhere in the world. Farmer G got your first mod release today. Congratulations, brother. That's awesome news. That's fantastic news. I haven't um, even had a chance to look at the mod list yet today. Oh, I do know. Flexicoil. Is that out today? Or was that yesterday? So far behind. So far behind. There's Den. Nice to see you, buddy. How are you? You'll be on Mars. Oh, what a bad time to take a holiday to Mars, pop pop. That's disappointing. Oh, my G, come on. Fess up, what's your modern name? You GH66. I'm doing my best, Scott. 
I'm reading chat as well. <laughs> oh, that's quite a good bears den. Like a challenge. Well, buddy, there you go. Congratulations. DJ's worked out who you are. You're, uh, you're doing something right. Try with my eyes closed on the next row. <laughs> you're going to make me mess up my field. I nearly done it. Uh, this one thing that's quite nice about this part of uh, Middleburg is, yeah, Bill. Oh no, I did see that today. That's the bit I watched. Yeah, that was really nicely done, man. Properly impressed with that. Thirty thousand liter bales. Forty thousand liter bales. That'll uh, that'll go down a storm. Do you know what? Where that'll really help is on um, multiplayer service. You know when it used to lag quite a lot if you had loads of bales? That's, uh, we always used to do that as an, on FS19, is bump them up. Now all we just need is variable, right? I know, right, Trey? I imagine liming on Spring Creek is brutal. Last week was a bit on the farm sim show. I thought it was... Hey, you did it live from... You did it live from Community Corner in... Uh, you were on location, so... Don't be too hard on yourself, man. It was still good fun. We all laughed. A six-ton fertilizer already built in. Oh, there you go. Even I didn't know that. Multiplayer on console was the aim for me. Well, you've nailed it, mate. Congratulations. Console players with bail limits can bail four times as much, exactly. Trust the modders to get their way around the, uh, the limitations. It's brilliant, isn't it? Now, do you know what? Interestingly, one of my biggest takeaways from this weekend was um, just how much Giants loves the modding community. And you know, sometimes, you know, there's, there's you sometimes get a bit of feedback that, uh, oh, Giants have, you know, they're rejecting things for the wrong result. They're not consistent with their feedback and things like that. Um, but I tell you what, they are they know and they appreciate how much the modding community means to farm sim um, and, the, and the modding team in fact um, I'm not stealing uh, I'm not going to steal DJ Thunder he's got uh, hopefully a vid coming out shortly explaining the modding process and, and everything but uh, you know from speaking to people like Mr. Marcel and the whole modding team it's uh, it's really interesting how they do it I'm, like I said DJ's got a video coming out where he, he actually has sat with them and gone through the whole process and um, it's really it's really impressive what they do so the next time you're frustrated if you're a modder and the next time you're frustrated because you haven't come back with German translations they're, they're really keen on really they think it's really important to make sure that they get them as good as possible there you go Saturday um, that'll be that'll be 100% worth a watch Right, are we going to get this field done before we run out of fertilizer or and or seed? I'm going to say I'm pretty confident, 30, 30 odd percent. Edit faster. <laughs> oh, you're getting trolled by Yoss. It's like uh, just like a normal day in uh, at Farmcon. Time for the t-shirts. Well reminded, Trey. Well reminded. So, 
if you missed the start of the stream BTS the boy band right I'm going to park up here and we're going to do this so if you missed the start of the stream I with my own money these aren't freebies from giants I bought these See that? Limited edition Farmcon t-shirts. I bought two. And I bought them in X... Uh, uh, and I bought them in XL, so... Kind of hedging my bets that they will cover the majority of us. That's the back of them. I'm going to give two of these away. I'm going to give away one now. And we'll do one right at the end of the stream. And all you need to do is write... He says as he checks Nightbot to make sure he's done it properly. I can sign it, whoever, whoever. I can sign it if you want. Don't. It's a. It's a good T-shirt. Don't wreck it by making me draw on it. Right. Let me just check Nightbot. Um. So for this giveaway, we are going to put in the keyword. We're going to put in the keyword. Farmcon twenty two, all one word. Doesn't matter if it's uppercase. Doesn't matter if it's lowercase. It is case insensitive. So batter that in there. Farmcon twenty two, and we'll let it run for about five minutes while I finish this field, and then we will roll. They're nice t-shirts as well. They're not. They're not uh, bad quality either. Farmcon 25, DJ's, DJ's three years ahead of us. So as soon as the... Uh, as soon as the ticker stops or it calms down, we'll... Uh, we'll roll it. Oh, it's Lockie in here. How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Oh, I see Glovebox in there as well, quietly going about his business. Ah, uh, Demon Rules is... Giving it a shot as well. Farmcon 20. Um, you only need to put it in once. It, it, um, it doesn't give you double the chance if you put your name in twice. So, uh, just the once is fine. 1313, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. You can never have to exactly. So, we'll let a timer run till the end of this field. So, FarmCon 22. I heard spam it, but okay. <laughs> okay, looking good, guys. Some nice entries here. And remember, if you miss out on this one, we'll give another one a go at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the stream. But yeah, these are... There was a very limited run of these, and they pretty much run out by the end of FarmCon, so... They are a bit like Collector's Edition. You know what I thought you'd say? DJ, have you seen the image on... Um, on my Discord yet, that Yoss put up this morning? I'll, I'll maybe try and pull it up for a laugh. Hang on. Let me see if I can even pull it up. It probably won't work. Honestly, I just got... This This was from... The beginning of the weekend till the end. Right, let me see if I've got a... Uh, what have I got here? No, that's not it. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thanks to Yoss this morning. Uh, what was the, what's the line? Um, find somebody that looks at you like FSG looks at uh, 
Argsy when he's stacking bales. Oh, there we go. It's probably stolen the thunder now, DJ. DJ was DJ was gonna do a picture of me. Wow, you do really look like that was me, Saran. <laughs> We need to really go back through your old Flint Hills live streams and figure out who made the link first. It was probably you, Argsy. It was probably you. It's always you. It's always been you. Oh, Joe! How's it feeling, mate? Are you doing alright? Good to get it done though, mate. You'll be pleased. It's recovered. Right. Farm Contisha, any more for any more before we uh before we roll the dice. Or roll the roll or whatever you roll. For it to pick a winner. Surge! I notice you can't do anything on that olive field besides harvesting. No plan cultivating or fertilizing. Which uh, which one's that, Serge? Oh, the, the the Italy map. Right, I said I would finish this field. I got distracted. Farm Club twenty. There you go, Mark. Mark gets gets in at the end there. Oliver tractors, yeah. Love an Oliver tractor. Bit of old school. Next to the big farm. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're done here, which is good. Can we send DJ Sleep Ticker to Giants for testing? Right, let us, let us, let me close Discord down. Are we ready? Good luck, everyone. There was quite a few entries in there, so we will hit the button. Good luck to everyone. You are kidding me. It's a fix. There we go. <laughs> Mr. Scott Free For All, congratulations, buddy. You have won yourself a FarmCon t-shirt, mate. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, nice to see. Well, unlucky everyone else, but uh, we'll have another one calling the auditors. Like Deloitte in for a month to work out that at 100 grand a day. Nice one. <laughs> right, there we go. Two planted fields. One incredibly damaged cedar because we had loads of rocks in there. Good for you, Scott. You've got to wear it on a stream. That's the only deal. All right, let's just pop it here for now. Not that we need to seed anything else. But uh, I'll just pop it here. Yep. Now, we need to find a roller. Let's hope we've got something interesting in it. I don't think... Oh, crikey, we've got lots of good stuff. Now we're talking. Heavy meadow rollers. I think we might go for one of these Gutler. They're pretty cheap, aren't they? 14, 15 grand. So, before we do that, though, I think we'll maybe go and sell some... Used the uh, control box there with a the key in it. Actually used the key to turn off my tractor. You bought so much John Deere stuff in Man it doesn't all fit on your shelves. Uh, I can relate to that. I had to uh, carry stuff separately. I couldn't fit it in my uh, 
I'm going to fit a hole in my bag on the way back. I thought I was going to get stopped at security as well. But, uh, got away. Clean it and put it away. No! I haven't got a pressure washer here. Pressure washers are far too expensive. Um, what I might do is put, put it at the back of the shed, though. I am not putting it though. I was like, oh, I'm going to put it at the back of the shed. Of course I'm not, because I'll end up with like a load of bales. I will put it over here. The steering on this thing is a total dog. Why the need for that? No, that's a brand new t-shirt. Oh, you mean the tractor? I don't know, now I'm confused. Scott's got to wash the t-shirt and put it away, or I need to wash the tractor and put it away. Something to declare, Mr. Effus. Yeah. But it'll probably lock me up for being slightly weird. You're a 40 something year old bloke. Why have you got a load of kids' toys in your. Um. Right, let's get this unloaded. Left shift I. Unloading area is blocked. Let me uh, arrange that. that um weeder <laughs> actually have I got what a good opportunity to use our little John Deere Which hasn't got oh, my joysticks packed in here. Right here we go. We're doing it by hand. We're doing it the bale stacking way. If he's gonna effort, send you a t-shirt. You should probably throw a hat in the post as well. Maybe. Argsy, oh, he's one of my test subjects. Hmm. Did you think about that? In glittery pen. You could try, Scott. Yeah, I was gutted you weren't at uh, you weren't in Mannheim for the bale stacking challenge hours. I reckon you could have given those uh, those pros a run for their money. I don't know if DJ's still here. What was your time in the end, DJ? If you're still here. I was about five minutes. I think you had to be around about two minutes. Very early two minutes to get into... Uh, to get into the top top six. Farm Sim Jim, nice to see you, mate. How are you? I don't know why this one didn't come off. I think it's because it's not actually sitting on the... Uh, sitting on the actual unload point for the uh, the auto load so I've added Loki's auto load script to that um, to that truck myself with a little bit of help from Loki because of the it had a custom uh, vehicle name there we go very nice take it easy Yoss he was, uh, Joss was brilliant in, uh, in Germany. Funny, funny guy. And he just wound up DJ a lot, which is very funny. And he created the Dirty Nator. Which I'm still going to swap at some point. Adam, nice to see you. How are you doing? Okay, I'm reading the chat and not looking where I'm going. Right, let's go and haul some, uh, haul some whiskey about. Haul some whiskey and some, 
some rolled barley. Crash counter plus one. I should get a crash counter going, shouldn't I? See you later, Chinook. Have a good night. It's early morning for you, isn't it? Well, not early morning. <laughs> Broken the crash can. Yeah, but it crashed into it. Knowing me. Also, farmer cop drinks. Like, no joke. Eight cups of coffee in the morning. He's clearly got a cast iron constitution. I'll be on the toilet all the time. Whoa, okay, pay attention. Here we are. Oh, brakes. Remember the brakes are questionable on this. What was my favourite beer in Germany? Oh. What do we drink? We do, a lot of the... You know in Germany, Cranks, you know, the, you know what they're like? They have their local um, stuff. So we were kind of drinking some... Oh, I've gone the wrong way now. Uh, we were drinking some uh, local Mannerheim stuff. Just the, the nice thing about German beers, it's all so pure. The guys were saying that, that they, uh... The American guys were like, you, you wake up with that headache in Germany. And I was like, I know, it's good, isn't it? They've got proper laws, what is it, for, um... Limited to four ingredients only, or something ridiculous like that. By law. So everything you drink is super pure. Two, three. So interesting, no more spawning now, which is good. We actually may have got... Oh. To the end of them, which is good. Belgian beer is much better. The problem with Belgian beer is all about 25%, isn't it? It's like fortified wine. I do like Belgian beer though. Duvel is uh, great. It's not a session beer. You have about three and then you're on your back. Oh, nice one, Ed. Good stuff. How's it going? Are you getting on with it nicely? Is that Loki's Autoload, the one off Mod Hub or GitHub? I think it's the GitHub one because it's got the instructions of how to. Uh, to implement it into your own vehicles which I think was an update at the end every beer is a session beer maybe when I was 18 certainly not anymore there we go get them unloaded grab some beer and take it back beer um Grab some wine and take it. Wine, whiskey, whatever it is. My only issue is now, the price was going down quite considerably. So I'm potentially not selling this at the ideal point to sell it. Get a bit closer. There you go, non, uh, non base game pallets as well, and they work, they work fine. It used to be a tenant streaker. You animal. Wouldn't feed that muck to my worst enemy. I'm going to pay the tax on all the whiskey. I don't want you to talk about Farmer G. I'm assuming that's, uh, that's been incorporated into the selling price. Patrick, how are you doing? I absolutely loved my time there, mate. It was, um, it was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Managed to get to Germany th uh, twice in three weeks. And both times it was brilliant. Raz's ribeyes bar sell point is still it's on the way up. I can get an extra 
hundred bucks at Klein House still, so we're going to go there. Every bread is a tragic story of wheat that didn't make it into beer. I like it. That was that wasn't a crash crank. That was just just a gentle nudge. Hardest one you've done so far. All production's done. Farms two and three. Okay, good. Impressive. Still a crash. It's only a crash if it uh, if it causes damage, right? No, is that not what it is? Pop, pop. Take care, mate. Nice to see you. Go for a run. Good for you, man. That's one thing I'm committing to when I come back from holidays is getting fit again. I'm sick of being feeling unhealthy. There's the money ticking up. Nudge counter for the body. <laughs> I like it. Exactly. Exactly. Look, I got an environmental bonus as well. Not sure what for, but I'll take it. Not going to complain. I'm good. This is. Uh, we've obviously reached the end of our production load. That's good. One more. Come on. Not close enough. I do love this truck, but it handles like a dog. But then again, it's an old truck, so probably do probably would, wouldn't it? That's saying nothing. Leaving your foot planted on the accelerator when you're using the W key as well. Nudge is a very old Facebook thing, you're right, yeah. So, if you uh, missed the start, I'm... Uh, if you missed the start, I'm going on holiday uh, at the end of the week. I should probably talk about this now, and so you're aware. Um, I haven't had the chance. I was going to back up a few vids and stuff to get them ready. I just haven't had the chance. What with the mixture of farm con... Um, Actually, having a few challenges at work as well. Pretty big challenges that uh, might fundamentally change uh, my proper job completely. So having to manage that and deal with that in the background as well has been uh, pretty time-consuming. So I'm actually feeling like I'm pretty ready ready for a little bit of a break. So uh, rather than killing myself this week and trying to back up a load of stuff while I'm off, we'll probably probably won't see much from me in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've got a couple of things lined up. Maybe just one thing lined up. It's quite a good thing, though. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, I probably will be pretty quiet over the next couple of weeks, and I'm going to come back full of energy and recharge batteries, and we'll get stuck into it. I've got some brilliant ideas. I'm going to spend the time when I'm away really planning what's next for the channel and really feel I've been a bit stagnant over the last few months so uh, really get stuck into uh, some new ideas and some new uh, some new stuff so I'm not going anywhere don't you worry and uh, hopefully some kind of um, we had some really nice chats with some decent people while we were over in Germany as well so there could be some quite nice interesting things coming for the channel a good thing does that mean surviving Wyoming's back well, let's put it this way, Nix. It might be closer. It might be closer. Absolutely, Gino. Absolutely. There will be relaxing, but we've got a nice villa. We're going to sit by the pool. Enjoy the sunshine. They're like, we're all knackered. Mrs. FSG's been super busy at work. 
she's uh, she's working like a Trojan. Um, kids are well, they're on school holiday at the moment, but they're uh, they're ready for a break and a change of scene too. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good to have a good to have a rest. It just started playing, but is that truck available with the auto load feature on the mod list? It's um, it's from OK Used Mods Top Hat, uh, and you have to add the uh, the functionality yourself. So if you download the uh, the auto load mod from Loki seventy nine uh, from GitHub, it has instructions for how to implement it on the trailer. So it's a little bit more a little bit more advanced than just rocking up and. Uh, Right, that'll do me, I think. And we will go and buy our little roller now and get those two fields done. Can't wait for Wyoming. Gotta film it first. Like I said, I'd done a few episodes and I just wasn't happy with it. It wasn't good enough. It, uh, it didn't have the... The first one, as, as we were... As I developed it more and more and more, it, um... I got more and more um, sucked into the story myself of what I could do next and what I could do. You can add the details for that truck to the readme. Ah, there you go. Nice one, Scott. Uh, nice one, Loki. Um, yes, um, I, was, I really got engrossed in the story myself and what I could do next with it and where I could take it. And this one, it was just kind of drifting, and I was like, this is... I, if I'm not finding this good... Um, I'm sure you guys wouldn't either, so... It's taken a bit longer. But at the same time, it's also... Uh, been done for the right reasons. To make sure it's... Make sure it's good. And also, I've realised for Season 3, I'm going to give you a lot of date. So you can... So you should not keep asking. If the reason is a series three, maybe I'll stop at season two. Maybe it's a one series wonder. Pleasant, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. You're watching the farm convert? Yeah, watch that. It's better. I need the views. I'm, good. I'm about to go on holiday for two weeks. <laughs> but it's kind of the right time of year, right? It's. Uh, I even notice the channel's quieter at the moment because I think people are taking their summer breaks and, and the weather's better outside. So you know, you're not nobody's sitting in and playing computer games as much as they maybe do in the winter or autumn. So it's all good. It's all good. Right, let's park him here. I'm a little disappointed I don't have a slightly o older roller. Um, actually, do you know what I might do? Let's, should we log out? I'll go and have a look and see what we could find, maybe. I think we'll jump out and uh, see what we could find. Quick game. Could be something good in there. There's the orange page. Park down the side of the shed. I'm about to get it out pleasant for uh, some rolling. The maps are a bit of a challenge right now, so I believe that. Yeah, I, I yeah. I think you're right, John. I think we need a, we need a, we need a Flint Hills type-esque map, don't we? Or something similar. Right, rollers. Rollers, rollers, rollers. Is there anything old in here? Let's see what we've got. That's nice and old. That Cambridge is a bit too... Concrete rollers. A bit old school. I like them, though. They're grass rollers, though. We don't want grass rollers, do we? That's not what we need. That Cambridge roll is just too narrow. What? What is it? It's only three meters. Yeah. This will be three meter two. Two point five meter. Jeez. 
2.5 or 2.6. It's going to take forever if we do that. That's all too new. Hmm. Maybe you'll pick up the content. Yeah, pleasant. You had seven, I saw you had 17 viewers. The roller you just did is 11k. Where is it, Mark? I think we might see more Mandaco rollers, Brock. Um, I do think there's potentially more of them to come. What about that? That's a grass roller again, isn't it? I need the brilliant roller by Atacan. Right. Hang on. Talk among yourselves while I go and have a nose and see if I can find it. The brilliant roller by Atkin, you say? Can or cam? The mulcher. Oh, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? That is nice. If you're APC, return it. Oh, Mark sent me his as well. Oh, grab Mark's. Tiger, mate. I don't think I've got the horsepower to pull that, have I? Oh, I can't pull that. I've only got about 130 horsepower. I probably haven't got the uh, the oomph for this one either. That I'm looking at. You can pull the roller. Okay. Can I can I afford to buy it though, Mark? Can I afford to buy it? Right. Um, let me download anyway. See what else I can find. What have we got? The brilliant Pulvi Mulcher. By Atacan. Let's download that as well. Right, we'll download them both and have a look. John Lass, how are you doing? You say no, no, RTK. Now let's cultivate about 250. Cool, right. We'll have a look at them both, shall we? Let me just. Uh, I have to reboot the game now. Might take a bit of time, but sorry, folks. Should have thought ahead, shouldn't I? Should have thought ahead. I'm. I'm. Uh, feel like I've hardly played the game in the last two weeks. So, uh, right. Let's dump both of those into into documents. My games. I'm some twenty-two mods. Let's get this booted back up. Sorry for the black screen of death for so long. There we go. You need my next Alice release? I do. I saw you updating it today. Pleasant looks good. It looks good. Right. Middleburg. You didn't see any load games that said Elk, Ma um, Elk Mountain version uh, Series 2 or anything like that. Valley Spoy, do you think Bulls Gap map will be closed Ming to FS22? I'm not sure if it's closed Ming, but it is coming to 22, I believe. They are working on it. Um, well, you can have a nosy through my entire mod folder at the moment, or oh, certainly an entire, entire mod folder on this uh, on this game save. Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for 
Tiger mate. Ah, oh, see, I've got it already. I'm going to guess that's yours, Mark. The second one, so I'll turn that one off. Um, do you want the raw? They're all. <laughs> you can send it to me, mate. I, I probably won't quit out of the game and boot it up again now. But uh, and what was the other one? I have another roller here that I've not uh, switched on. A flail shredder. Probably gone past it. Who who does this when they're switching new mods on and you're convinced that well, I've copied it in the folder and I can't see it. And it is there. But you just can't remember the name. Brilliant. Let's go back to the top. The 255 is custom. I have two copies of that in there as well. What the hell's going on there? Right. Target mate 255 is custom moddings. Right. So where's yours? Where's yours hiding? A. Big bud. Big bud. Brilliant. There it is. Right. That's one. Eli. Please don't spam, mate. I will have to uh, politely ask you to leave. Um, right. Where's yours, Mark? Where's it hiding? Tiger Mate 200, there you go. Boom. Let's have some sound backs, just me talking. Where's the sad police? Man, this room gets warm in the summer. This is a slow loader as well. Talk among yourselves, people. Yeah, that's, um, I would say, probably my biggest mod folder because I use SGA to switch. Um, I tend to just run stuff. This is this is almost my biggest. I can probably, I think I'm running about three games off this one. Redneck, where am I from? Um, originally, I am from uh, England, but I live in Scotland now. I've been here for 25 years. Yes. So, uh, so tomorrow's farm convid could be quite interesting for some of you. I've got a couple of interviews in there. Um, one with Alien Paul, just a quick five minutes. Um, that's quite good. And uh, I had a nice little chat with uh, Kermit as well, which was nice. So, takes a while for the uh, cash to catch up in here, and I also do this for some reason. It bumps the uh, frame rate up strangely. Right. Let's have a look at what we've got now. Whatever we do, I think we'll lease it. Because we've got lease to buy. I mean not Farm Simchim. There is an updated version of SGA, I think. Um not uh no it's not been updated since one point four, but um I think we're on about version two point zero zero one or something similar to that, so um Take care, Pleasant. Thanks for the uh, tips, mate. Appreciate it. Um, right. Let's go shopping. Argsy's favourite words in Farmson. Uh, roller, roller, rollers. Now, will the roller show up in here? The crumbler roller, 11 grand. That is perfect, Mark Thor. Look at that. Take it all back. You are useful. Love it. 15 miles an hour too. I'm actually going to spend... I'm gonna, I was going to... I was going to... So... Base cost per work, 500 or 11 grand. Am I going to use a roller a lot? I'm 
I'm just going to be bold and buy it. 38 grand. No, let's lease it. Let's lease it because we can lease to buy now, can't we? So over time, we're uh, we're going to get close to buying it. So what? Our purchase purchase option. So yeah, that'll tick down as time goes on. I am loving that mod, Mark Thor. I take it back. You can change the color for free. No, I'll leave. It. I'll leave. It. I'm happy to leave it as a happy to leave it as a case. Right. So Pleasant, I believe, has done a really quite a big update to this tractor now because um, I know he started this when he was just finding his feet with modding, but now he's uh, getting more and more accomplished. Uh, he's got he's put dials and everything in the cab, and looking forward to seeing the update. Hey, there you go, Mark. Chris is loving the old Ford case. This is a nice. W oh. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? That doesn't look right, Mark. Mark! There we go. That was odd, wasn't it? We'll try that again. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. When will there be some more surviving Wyoming? <laughs> oh. I think this hitch on this is potentially quite low, yes. When you download a mod live without testing <laughs> yes I'm saying nothing these cowboy modders that just throw their stuff together I like it I like it look at that the basket rolling there look, look at that just getting caught on the edge of the look at that that's nice nice little there you go Uh, okay. Yeah. Weed's growing, needs rolling. Okay, it's working. It's just, uh, it's just working. We're just not getting the texture. Which is going to make it incredibly difficult to see where I'm going with it. It was good from that perspective, but I'm going. I'm going to go to the other field. Mark will fix that. That's that's all good. So let's see if it runs a runs a texture over this or not. Change the texture on here, we'll stay on here. We can find out if the rocks go as well, won't we? Interesting. I think it is putting a texture down, but it's the same texture. Is it the same texture for rolling? Guys, help me out here. It changes the texture texture if not limed. It's not it's not squashing my rocks in because they're large rocks. The rolled texture the same as the seeded texture anyway. It's definitely registering as being rolled, it's just going to be really hard to see what's what. 
Yeah, that's a fair point, Ed. Maybe I'll have to do that. Isn't rolling after seeding? I have, I have seeded. Yeah, so it is working. It is working. Look at that, my expected yield still... That's what we'll do, we'll go crossways. I don't know what I'm going to do with the lime field. You can just about make it out of there. Bit of an overlap. She'll be right, mate. Again, would be beneficial with the GPS, would be less, a lot less hassle, but uh, I don't have that luxury at the moment. Maybe, maybe if, when I invest in my next tractor, I'll buy a third party installation kit for GPS. No, rollers don't get rid of the big stones, you're right, Mark. I know, I totally get that. A few small ones, I think, as well, so. Technically, I should really have gone and picked up the stones um, after it ploughed, but I don't have a stone picker. Just gonna have to trash my combine instead. Is that right, Henry? That's interesting because um, I have to say I've, I've really not had any uh, any change with it. That's uh, that's a shame. Wolfie! Nice to see you, mate. How are you? Right. Oh, there it is. Just keep going. Uh, trip was superb, Wolfie. Absolutely top draw. Really was. Really enjoyed it. So, uh... This is not good for me, old eyesight, this. There we go. Dust off the Alice wheels looks good, though. Are they all big stones? Are we going to lose any of these now, I think? I did indeed, Wolfie, yes. What a bizarre and surreal thing that was. Same before, like, lovely... It's like lovely, polite kids with impeccable English. Um, it was it was really nice to see. It was you know what? There's it was really nice to see so many kids there as well. Um, definitely, uh, definitely a, a really nice thing to see. Lots of, lots of parents there as well who'd been dragged there by their kids. We want to go to FarmCon. They were just standing around going, This is just weird. Thank you, Scott. Did Giants mention anything about game engine enhancements? Um, nothing specific, John. Other than they're still, um, they still, they're still conscious that they want to keep evolving that engine and make it work. They've, they reiterated the whole um, thing that just using a third, customizing a third-party engine is just not on their 
plans. It's just not part of their plans. Um, I think their aim is, with the success of 22, obviously financially that helps them, which means they can expand the team and get more devs and push things forward a bit more. But I think they're wedded to the engine and will be for a long time to come. Possibly, Joe. It, it may be. I'm going to sweet talk Mark and see if he can uh, change the lime texture back to a soil texture so you can see where you've been a bit easier. Well, properly overlapping this time. So, John, I'm not sure if you were here when we were talking about Silver Run Forest before. But they have, there is in that map, so it's more map based than game based, but they found a way of uh, incorporating a lot of trees uh, in a lot more effective way than has been possible up till now. So it will be a lot less uh, intensive on, uh, on GPU and CPU usage, like view distance and things like that. No, I'm, Mark. I mean, if I drive over the line, it would it would change it to what we've got in the field behind us. We so get this texture here in the field behind. if you've crushed the lime into the ground, you know? Ooh. Never rolled a lime field. I don't know if I have either, actually. It serves to me alright if I do it in the wrong order, basically, doesn't it? Should have limed it before I seeded it. That was my test. Which I think we're about to prove is totally pointless because we've got the same yield in both. The in-cab view with this one at the moment, like I said, he's working on build, uh, building out the uh, internals. So he's got um, dials and switches and stuff in here now. But uh, this is the slightly older version, so... We are not a native of the northwest. Ah, so you'll know. You'll be uh, you'll be as good as anybody to tell us if it's ac if it looks and feels like uh, the north. Farmer cops from that neck of the woods as well. So he was he was saying he was impressed with it from a from a look and feel perspective. He said it did feel very very much like that part of the state. Ah, right. For seeing my lines, yeah, it is a little bit better. Although I can't see the edge of my implement, so. You know when this would be really handy? It would be at night time, wouldn't it? You have your lights on. The corn stalks, that was um, uh, a mod in 19, but I don't think it's out for 22 yet. Zebra. But yes, um, you can. Some, some mappers have included it at, at a map level as well. I think uh, MRG's map. Has, uh, has done that. Squeeze through all these trees without hitting any of them. Not bad, not bad. Yes, Zebra on the Ashton Corners it is built in.
I'm going to get a bit more fun now. I've got more trees around here, haven't I? I have to do a couple of headlands on these last little bits. Sneak peek. Heard about Maze Possible. Um, actually, if you stay tuned, hopefully Christoph tomorrow, if I can get it edited, um, I have a little uh, interview with Alien Paul on the, on the third vlog. So I won't spoil it for you, other than we know it's coming. We'll give us a bit more info. Right, I'm going to be creative turning up here. Why do you go a bit fast when rolling? Uh, because you tend to go faster rolling, Kieran, because you're not... There's no kind of... Um, you don't need to be particularly accurate or specific. You're not planting crops or anything like that. So, uh, also, I think the speed can sometimes help um, break up the the soil a bit faster. Let's do a little bit of a headland here. Help us out. I will go back. I'm conscious I've not rolled the very edge of that, but uh, we'll go back. I'm annoyed now. I thought those um, thought those rocks weren't large, but I thought they were medium or so or small. So pretty sure running a a rock picker over a planted field is not the right thing to do. So I'll just have to destroy our combine. <laughs> what side of price did they quote me? Do you know what? I didn't ask, but I don't think what that thing they had with the full-blown 6R behind them cost, but uh, the actually, do you know what? Actually, that sitting in that, it doesn't feel too big. That would that would fit in the corner of my room. It really would. I mean, it'd be pretty chunky in the corner of my room, but it it, uh, it would fit. So from that perspective, I'm 100% considering getting one. Just got to convince the missus it's the right thing to do. Be like, think of the views. She'd be like, I don't care about the views. It looks a mess. I'm just supposed to have FSGC. <laughs> exactly that. Farmer Ed. There'd have to be a sweetener in there somewhere, I think. Oh, here we go. I love chat. That time of night. Thank you, Farmer Ed. Right. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. A couple more passes, and actually, that's time to perfection. Because we are at t-shirt giveaway time. Two farmer heads. Yeah. More Coldplay concerts. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we could coincide picking up the rig with a with a concert or two. There we go. Rolling done. Very nice mark. Like it. That's a, a nice little lightweight roll of that. Big fan of that. I am going to dump it here though, because we need to do this field at some point as well. Find out it's possible to change that texture so it's a bit easier to um, 
see where we've been and where we haven't been. But let's check from a test perspective. So, the weeds are still growing. It needs rolling over there, but it doesn't need rolling here because we did it here. So, uh, 123, 6.8, 6.8, yield potential. And over here, it's exactly the same. So, we're kind of maxing out there on our... Uh, on our yield potential, I think. Just 125% though, so why is it only 125%? That's interesting. Who knows? Horseplay would take care of that field. <laughs> Shh! I wasn't going to say that, Arx, but yes. That was my plan. I'll let it run. But yes, looking good, Mark. I like that a lot. Right! Should we, should we demo it again? If you want to win the exclusive FarmCon t-shirt FarmCon 22 You know what to do guys Throw In there's the man himself! How you doing buddy? Alien Paul, welcome to the stream mate. I'm saying I've got my little interview with you coming in tomorrow's vlog video, so uh, a few of the guys looking forward to that. But yes guys, chuck in FarmCon22 into the chat and uh, let's see if we can win some of you a, uh, a little t-shirt. Here we go, we see them racking in there, nice to see. Oh, you'll fit it, Paul. Nice. XL, I went for XL size, so... How are we doing, guys? Yep, it's going up nicely there. Let's see how this one gets rigged. <laughs> Ironically, it would cost me about nine grand to send it to you anyway, Args. We'd have to meet halfway or something. Chris Miller, I've swore off English and German maps until Mace Plus comes out. Nice. Hey, there's Hordy. How are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Imagine if I win again. The, yeah, there will be definitely something wrong if you win again. Won't fit me, but my boys will love it. Oh, so one thing I talked about with Giants while I was there, while well, we're waiting for this to fill in, um, maybe interesting for you, Cranky, and some of the other guys in the UK, is having a UK um, meetup. I don't know how we're going to do it yet or where we're going to do it, but um, yeah, the likes of Virtual Farmer... Uh, Mr. Sealy P, if he's up for it, anybody else who's about who's uh, uh, keen will get to somewhere. And if anybody wants to come and say hi, um, we can sit down and talk farm sim. Good to hear it, Hordy. Good to hear it, mate. Right. Let's see if Scott takes home the second one of that. I'm going to die if he does. I literally used the roll function on... A hundred percent you're invited. hundred percent you're invited, Alien Paul. A million percent, even. Right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what happens first. Please, please don't pick Scott again. That would be awful. Right. We're rolling. Oh, sharp. <laughs> Arx is definitely going to think this is rigged now. <laughs> oh, dear. That's brilliant. <laughs> Congratulations, Trey. Um, that's brilliant. Nice one, mate. <laughs> did I give them one? I, did, I really didn't. That is the, the luck of the draw. That's hilarious.
Uh, Alien Paul, I will absolutely. Yes, let me know when it is, mate. And well, let me know when it is. I'll keep an I'll keep an eye on your web page. Future sports. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, so you've got a present on the way anyway. I already sent you something. Hey Rob, how you doing? I think the bot only recognised... I genuinely, I'm going to go and check just to prove a point. No. Totally legit. It just is the way, the way the cookie has crumbled. I don't think a mods want to draw in however long, so... That's kind of funny. Farm something, nice to see you, mate. How are you doing? Right. Uh, I think on that note, we will call it there. There's a couple of hours done. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Nice to be on this map, actually, instead of uh, Green Valley, although I do enjoy a Green Valley uh, stream. Oh, yeah. There you go, well, Loki's kicking about as well. Book a big campsite somewhere, can you imagine the car? We'll end up ploughing it or something. That'd be quite funny. Um, hey Gavin Water, nice to see you. Uh, hope you've not just jumped in, because we're about to say goodbye, but... Uh, um, yes, thank you guys. Like I said, um, I'm going to try and get the third vlog out tomorrow. Um, hopefully another video or two over the weekend uh, tomorrow will be the last farm convid we're done hopefully i'll get through all of the content um i'd like to get a little um vid out for the side panel uh because i promised to uh, uh promised him i would um and then uh, like i said next week and the week after i am away i am like out of the country so not be able to generate any content i'm gonna line something up but probably just one thing um while i'm off uh, so it will be quiet on the channel but you're all welcome to hang out in discord and do your own thing and make sure you go and see args and support him and uh scott's channels uh making some nice progress as well already over 100 subs which is brilliant so um so yes uh Spend the time going and hanging out with some other uh, YouTubers, which you all do anyway, I know, so... Uh, um, but thanks for joining, um, thanks for listening to me ramble on about how good FarmCon was. But I'm telling you, it's a real incentive to uh, uh, see if you can get yourself over there next year. Um, but for now, from me, have a great rest of your week. Um, we'll be in touch, and uh, thanks all for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye. I very rudely forgot to say thank you to Cranky for the £10 super chat. Much appreciated, mate. And to David Tully as well for the £5 five dollars thank you mate much appreciated right i am actually gonna go now all the best guys take care bye bye No, go away. <laughs> We're done. We're still here. No, I'm definitely going there.